Hey everybody. Well, I wanted to talk about the manifestation of magic, random acts of magic, and cause and effect. Um, these are all related, um, and I don't think it's something that's really talked about when we're talking about magic. So, magic manifests in so many ways. Um, I like to tell people that magic is fickle, and that's really insulting magic. Um, magic is random. It is pure energy. And so like a bolt of lightning, which is also pure energy, once it goes off, you don't know where it's going to go. Watch a lightning storm, and you'd see lightning. You take what, pick any area. You watch the lightning in front of it. One time it can go straight down, the next time it can spider web across the sky. You don't know. And then you can have, in the same, again, same area, you can have this little tiny strike, or you can have something that just barely lights up the clouds, and then 10 seconds later you can have this monstrous lightning strike, or lightning, that, you know, like I said, that goes around lights up the sky. The direction and the energy of magic is unpredictable. And this is important because like for myself, I try to do this big picture thing with the universe. I am this tiny little part of this universe. When I do magic, I believe that I am my energy that I'm sending out to get my result that I'm wanting, my subtle little change, is like this tiny ripple across the time-space continuum going somewhere to my destination to cause the effect that I'm wanting. Okay? But it's random, um, to quote Doctor Who a little bit, timey wimey you don't know okay um, so there are times where we are more charged up or things are just sinking in the right ways where you're thinking you're sending out this little ball of energy when you're just like okay kamehameha and you're sending out this massive energy wave you didn't know that I also believe in there are times where you don't even know it and you are doing spell work and it takes training to stop that and I'm not good at that yet um, so we're going to talk about random magic as we know when we're intentionally doing magic we are trying to draw in energy right then we try to shape it um, visualize it we're trying to give it a certain task. You know, we're putting our intent into the magic. So then we send it out, right? Okay. Random acts of magic are when your head is working and does some really intense thinking, visualizations, and then you make a comment about it. When you make that comment, you are sending out that energy. Did you realize that? I've done that a few times in my life and it scares the living crap out of me. But anybody can do that if you have some regularity of working with magics. You know, if your body can harness energy so you can shape it and all that, sometimes your mind will do it without you consciously thinking. Subconscious or random acts of magic. I believe in co uh, confidence. <laughs> Sorry, good old tongue tied. Coincidences at times. But I believe that not everything can be a coincidence as well. So, have you ever had those moments where an event happened and you go, I was thinking about that happening just a few months ago? Weird. Well, that could be a coincidence. Okay, but it could be also a random act of magic. 
Now I said I've had some and I've had a couple recent ones and that's why we're doing this video. Um, now like I said, I have no proof that it is me. It could, they could all be coincidences. I don't believe so. All right, so 9-11, I think is me. Why? A few months before 9-11 happened, I watched a video, a movie, documentary on A&E. They were talking about nuclear reactors and the security of the nuclear reactors. The large cooling towers are designed to withstand an impact of a 747. And you know, I was watching, I was getting into it, and I just randomly goes, well, maybe that's what the terrorists need to use to take down the Twin Towers. A few months later, it actually happened. Freaked me out. Is it just a coincidence? It's possible. But there's a part of me that goes, since I was visualizing it in my head so much, and then I made my comment, I harnessed energy, I shaped energy, and then with my vocalizations, I sent it out. Okay? Loud Republicans. A few elections ago, I was getting really, really sick and tired of the Republican Party because it always seems like um, in their little secret groups and all that, they spewed a lot of hate. Um, you were having them going, oh, I'm this nice guy, and then finding out, oh, they're a member of the Ku Klux Klan or something to that effect. And, you know, when they were thinking that they were safe, they would say some vile crap. And then, you know, it get leaks out, leaked out, and it's just like, yeah, this is the way this person really is. So I kind of thought in my head, Maybe I should do something where they can't shut up. You know, since they want to keep all their secrets, let's destroy their secrets by making them overly verbal. And look what happened. There's so, mo so much vitriol coming out of the Republican Party right now, it's disgusting. I mean, and then take it to the ultimate manifestation. Okay. Like I said, we don't know about energy. So I sent out this little bit of energy, and it was moving around, slowly manifesting itself, getting more and more energy. Now, a spell energy, once it's out, will constantly go out, gathering energy, shaping itself, manipulating itself, manifesting into an ultimate form, if not unchecked. Who's the president of the United States right now? Donald Trump. He can't shut up. He is verbally saying stuff. He goes on his Twitter and says some very disgusting, volatile things. And he, I can't help but going, did I manifest that? I don't know. Um... This one you can, I got these two here, you can verify them with me if you want to. Three Gorges Dam in China is the largest uh, hydroelectric facility on the planet. Um, this thing is huge. It took two decades to build. Because I am not a big fan of communist China, and I just wanted to get at them because of some of the crap that they were pulling, I was just thinking to myself, it'd be interesting if that dam collapsed due to floodwaters. I was thinking about that, um, I think it was last year or two years ago when California was going through all those record floods and there was a couple of dams that were, you know, very close to collapsing. So I thought about the same thing for the Chinese. And so... I put the thought in my head, I visualized it, I sent it out. Uh, what's been happening this year is China has been receiving record floods. I mean, epic, 
epic record flooding. Uh, the flood water was gotten so high that there's this great statue of Buddha. It's a historical mark for them. Water got so high it touched the toes, and they said that hasn't happened since like 1949, if I remember right. Um, and the water got so high at the Three Gorge Dam, it was like five meters from going over the top of it. Um, there had been massive landslides, a lot of people have died, and they were really scared that the dam was going to go. There has been some reports of some damage to the dam. Uh, pressure cracks here. There's even talk that because the water couldn't go above, it went below the dam, and so it could possibly still collapse. When I realized this, I remembered my thoughts, and so I have been trying to counter the what I set forth, what I believe I set forth. Okay. Now, cause and effect. I said we're going to talk about this. We cannot just send, you know, ourselves limitless the wealth. Yeah. Okay. It's got to come from somewhere. So if you do all these spells trying to get wealth and all that, the money's got to go from, from somewhere, right? So is your attempts to be wealthy and never have to work another day in your damn life causing a few other people to starve, go without? Think about that when you do your magics because this is weird. I know. So what does that have to do with the Three Gorge Dam? I was going through a drought. Well, it was until a couple days ago, and I'll explain. If you want to know where I live, go look up the drop map from two weeks ago for Iowa. Um, the big severe area, which was like around five counties in west central Iowa, dead center of that is where I live. For the rain to occur in China, though, had to come from somewhere, and so cause and effect, Iowa went without. Okay? Think about that. So, to counter this, I said to myself, and I visualized it the best I can, about, we'll take some of that rain. We do not want the dam to collapse. We'll take some of that rain. Now, it takes time for energy to manifest itself, right? We can't just go, it's done. And so, it took a week and a half that I was getting rain. We have had three days of rain now, and we're still we got a long ways to go, but we're getting rain now because cause and effect, and I was visualizing it in my head and trying to manifest the energy and send it out. Okay, but that's not all. There's one more. Um, my garden has been devastated by the lack of rain. And so two weeks ago, roughly, um, I was at work. I always check the radar for rain, and there was some rain up in South Dakota. And they were saying that they were going to be getting some heavy rain. And it's like, man, we can use that. And I said to myself, literally, if we have to go through severe weather to get rain, so be it. Bring it on. That same day, Iowa got hit by a derecho, which is a basically a land hurricane is one way to describe it. We had wind speeds of up to 100 miles per hour going through central Iowa. It kind of dipped into where I live to hit me, and then it headed straight east. Okay. There were people that had trees taken down, landed on houses, garages. Uh, there were parts of Iowa that were without power for a couple days to a week. Okay. I 
visualized, I asked, I challenged Mother Nature, I sent out the energy, and it came back at me. So we have to watch how we manifest shape energies when we send them out, because of cause and effect. Sometimes if we not paying attention, we could do random magics. Okay? So, in the comments below, if you have thought that you created a random magic, please put them down below because I like to see what else has happened around the world because it's, I can't honestly say that I believe that they're all coincidences. Some of them probably, but some of them probably not. So everybody, please, I hope you enjoyed the video, gave you something to think about. Take care. Be at peace.